This is the absolute best way to prepare a lot of French toast ahead of time and stock it up for the freezer. And the best thing about this is you can just take it out of your freezer containers or uh, freezer proof bags and pop this in the toaster or the air fryer, the oven, the microwave, however you want to reheat it, it. This is really, really great. And I have all of the ingredients and the amounts listed in the description below this video. So let's go ahead and get started. Uh, of course, you can see I've already begun mixing all of the ingredients and this is so fast and easy and I guarantee you're gonna love it. You no longer have to stand at your stove and at a skillet and do one or two French toast at a time. Everybody can sit down at the same time and eat because it's prepared easily in the oven. This is a great way to have French toast anytime you want it because you prepare enough ahead of time you freeze it and then you just take out what you want and heat it up, pop it in the toaster uh, or however you wanna do it. And then you can have French toast morning, noon or night, just whenever you would like to have it. And you can top this with some berries or other fruits, um, maybe add some bacon or, or just however you wanna do it. It's very, very convenient, and you're just going to love this. I actually dried this bread out in the 250-degree uh, Fahrenheit oven for about 20 minutes. Um, it just it holds together better if you do that. and Or you can just leave it to uh, dry overnight on an, a, a pan just to air out at room temperature, however you want to do it. And another great thing, basically everything you need to make this, you already have. Everybody usually already has all of these ingredients in their kitchen. So after your toast is done, go ahead and enjoy some of it, of course, and then let the rest of it cool completely. Just put that in some freezer bags, um, however many you want at a time and stick that in the freezer. And it's so good to know that anytime you want French toast, it's readily available. And you don't need any special cookware or anything, just a cookie sheet and the basic ingredients that you probably already have are just eggs, brown sugar, cinnamon, vanilla extract, salt, butter and milk. And if you're using salted butter, then you can omit the salt. And of course you need the bread. And just plain loaf of white bread is just fine. You'll preheat your oven to 400 degrees Fahrenheit. And after you put this in the oven, you'll bake it for 10 minutes, then flip it over and bake it for another five to seven minutes. Depends on your oven. Or if you don't want to flip the toast over, you can just turn on your broiler for about four or five minutes, but watch it carefully. It's that simple. Enjoy. Thanks for stopping by, and I'll see you next time.